I am starting a coffee cup prompt for my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mixed Media, for either a product or a substrate or a technique to try. And I am going to post one video per week for one month on the prompt. This month, it's going to be index cards. So let me introduce my channel and then we'll get started on index card number one. I pulled these index cards out of my stash. I have the ones up top that have been tea dyed or coffee dyed, these colored, and the recipe cards. I think I'm going to use the recipe card for today's video. So let's take a look at this and get started. The first thing I want to do is add some book pages to the recipe card. I'm just putting a deli sheet down underneath it to keep the glue off of my working table. And I shall glue some book pages directly to this until I get it covered front and back. Once I have the first layer of book pages down, I'm going to go ahead and tear the book pages into smaller pieces. We have the recipe card covered. Now I'm adding just random pieces of book pages, inking around the outside edge of them, and just adding a little more interest by doing that. I'm going to cover this all and then come back and trim the piece. So I have the front covered. I want to add some texture, so I've pulled out a stencil. And it looks like my texture paste. I make my own texture paste. It looks like it's <clears throat> getting a little dry. So let me dig down into the bottom of it and see if I can get some that's usable out of this little container. And it looks like I need to make some more. And I have enough to do what I want to do on the front of this card. So I have the texture paste. I just pulled it across the top of the book pages. I'm going to set that aside <clears throat> and allow that texture paste to dry before I do anything else with this index card or recipe card. So that's good and dry now. I am pulling out <clears throat> my favorite color, which is cold gray. And I want to just grab a hotel key card or a old credit card, whatever I have in my hand there, and pull that across that texture paste. <clears throat> I just want to get a good representation of this color on the card. And I'm trying to get it down inside the texture. And I shall let that dry. Pulling in some parchment. And doing the same with the parchment. Just dragging it across the top with that hotel key card. Now that that has dried, I have some fine sandpaper and I'm going over the area where the texture is foremost and just lightly sanding to reveal some of that texture, remove some of the paint, 
scruff it up a little bit, make it look a little grungy, if you will, and just add some character to the front of this card. With that done, I have this lid that I'm going to use to put some circles in gold. And we'll just randomly apply the circles to the card. And the color of gold I'm using is a folk art paint. It is called pure gold. And it is my favorite gold that I have on hand right now. So I am utilizing that. It is an inexpensive paint, but one that, that I really like. Now that I have the circles on, I have pulled out my fan brush and I am just adding some splatters to that card as well. I was just spreading the gold around that newsprint that I lay down on my table to work on top of because as you well know, if you've been watching my channel, I use that newsprint for different projects too. So I clean my brushes, roll off my brayers, test my prints or my stamps, you know, everything on that newsprint, and it makes some pretty decent projects. I want to add some script stamp to this, and I am utilizing Vintage Photo and just applying it liberally across the entire piece. Now I'll go around the outside edge with that vintage photo as well. Pulling out some more of the cold gray and I'm adding some circles in the cold gray as well with a bottle cap. I have this stamp that was sent to me by someone in the UK, and I can't remember who sent it to me. I, I know that she sent me a wonderful book as well, but her, the, her name is eluding me right now. So I'll link her, her name and channel in the description below. I can't believe I can't think of it right at this moment. But in any event, I received that postage stamp from her. It um, was in a um, little envelope with a bunch of stamps, and there were some Vatican stamps and all kinds of things from, from overseas, Polish, you name it, and I was very appreciative of receiving those because this is going to look very, very good on this card. And I've also pulled out a piece of lace that I have uh, you put plaster of Paris on, so it's stiffened with the plaster of Paris. I have a piece of gold fabric, some cheesecloth, and I shall layer everything up, put that stamp on, and that will be the focal point of this card. And I'm going to clue the cheesecloth down first, put my gold fabric down, then that plastered lace.
And now the stamp. I'm going to put a little extra cheesecloth over on this side as well. I think it needs just a little something to balance it out. So I'll, sh I'll put that little tiny piece of frayed cheesecloth there on that lower right-hand corner as well. So this is starting to look good. Now I'm thinking, do I want to turn that stamp so this is a vertical card? I think that works better if someone would want to tuck it down inside a junk journal. It would probably fit into a pocket better if it was vertically positioned instead of horizontally. Fortunately, I caught it before the glue set and was able to flip that around. And now to kind of frame everything in, I'm going to go around the outside edge with a black ink pad. And I think it needs some additional black. So I've pulled out my bottle cap and put my bottle cap in that ink pad. And I'm just adding some shadowy black on these circles. And I do think that pulls it together a little better. I don't know. What do you think? I struggled with this card a little bit. Yeah, I think it's adding. I, I definitely think it's adding to it. Now let's go around the outside edge and maybe kind of grunge up the corners with a little shadow, a little black. And I think we're getting there. So let's add some liquid pearls. We'll add some down in that lower right-hand corner, and we'll go up top to the left-hand corner and go horizontal versus vertical. And I'll have to let that set up and let those liquid pearls dry. I need to measure this card because we need to work on the back. So let's add, you know, I just, I'm still not happy with it. So I'm pulling out my black paint and my liquid pearls aren't dry, so I have to be very careful. I have my fan brush and I'm going to add some splatters with that fan brush. And I still think it could use something else. You know, when you're not exactly happy with something, if you just keep working with it, eventually you get there. I've found that the more, the more I maneuver and the more I work with things, the, the better I like them. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. So I'm going to do some mark making with that fan brush. And I think that I'm beginning to feel like this is starting to take shape. I'm happier with it. So we'll let all of that dry. There we go. I had to pull it back for one more. You know, I, I put it up there to dry, and I'm just sitting there looking at it thinking, yeah, it still needs something. And 
I decided to take that fan brush in that one vertical um, mark over on the right, and I went beside that with the gold. And now for the back, as I told you before, <laughs> I like to use that newsprint. And I thought this newsprint would be great on the back of this index card. So I'll just cut out a piece big enough that I will be able to cut that to the size to get on that index card. And I've also decided I'm going to put a stream of liquid pearls down the left side of that postage stamp. Let's measure up this card. And now we know exactly what size we need to cut this newsprint that I've been cleaning my brush and my brayer and everything else on. So we'll cut that down to the right dimensions to glue on the back of this card. And then we will cut a sheet of coffee stain paper or tea stain, tea stain paper. I think it's tea stain that I'm using. And we'll cut that just slightly smaller. And we'll use that so this card can have notes written on the back. Yes, this is a tea stain paper. I'm going to go around the outside edge of this tea stain paper with the vintage photo. And there, I'll glue these two together and we'll stamp on it. And while we're waiting for the other piece to dry, we'll have this completed. And then the only thing that will need to be done to finish off that card is to flip it over once dry and glue this to the back. So I have notes in my stamps that I have taped together. I'm going to pull those out and stamp in between my two liquid pearl drops up top. And there, I think that'll look real nice on the back of that card. So we'll let that set up, we'll let that dry. And here is just a little photo montage of the finished piece. Thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate you being here. As I told you at the very beginning, we'll be doing an index card every week, a video every week for the month of October. So October's prompt is index cards. If you want to play along, come join my Facebook group over at Two Old Crows and post your index card video, your index card photos, whatever makes you happy, please share. Appreciate you. Bye for now.